friends, and welcome to another episode of Picture This with Abby. Today, we're going to talk about tagging and adding descriptions to your files. Now remember, you can also do this from your mobile device, but this is the way to do it from a web browser. Step one, as usual, is heading to forever.com. Once you're there, head to your library or albums. It really depends on what you want to tag. I'm going to head to my albums. The zoo album that we uploaded the other week still hasn't been tagged. Once you're there, hover over the image that you wish to tag and click the green check in the upper right corner. You can do that for all the photos you want to select. So for me, I'm going to select the lions I see. Then in the blue navigation bar, I'm going to click add tags. I'm going to enter my tag name, in this case, lion, and click add tags. Something cool about that is if you miss one of the photos you wish to tag, you can always go back and add that tag and you don't have to remember what it is. Since my first tag was Lion, it didn't offer me any suggestions. But now when I reselect this new photo I wish to tag, when I start to type in L-I, Lion appears immediately. So I remember which tag I used previously. To add a description, go to your library or albums, I'm just sticking in my zoo album right now, and click on the file or image in which you'd like to add a description. On the right side of the screen, click Edit Info to edit your file name, description, or date taken. Click Update Info when you're finished. And you may have seen me do this in the screen record, but again, you can bulk organize. So rather than just clicking one item and tagging it, I was able to select all the lions and tag them at once. You can do the same thing with descriptions. Select all the photos you wish to edit, and it will add that description to multiple files. Click Save Changes when finished. You should always make sure to save your work. One more tip is that there's no right or wrong way to tag your files. Everyone has a system that works for them. Some people tag by date, some people tag by name, some people tag by animal. Whatever system works for you is the right system, and it's important to keep that in mind. And a second tip, you can add multiple tags. So I could say lion and zoo. Until next time, I'm Abby. Talk to you later.